How's it going, ladies and gents, boys and girls? This is Jeff Benjamin with 9 to 5 Mac on this week's episode of Back to the Mac. We're going to take a look at the high end configuration for the 2020 iMac, and that includes the 10 core i9 CPU and more importantly, the Radeon Pro 5700 XT GPU. So as you've seen before, I've already kind of walked through the basics of this iMac, what it all entails. Externally speaking, not much has changed from a design perspective, but we've already crossed that bridge. Let's really talk about what makes this iMac, the high-end version, special, and who might consider it over the base or mid-tier models. Now, obviously, if you're buying a iMac, you're not buying it solely with the purpose of gaming in mind. For instance, most people who run bootcamp on their Mac and game in Windows are doing so maybe because they have this Mac, they don't have a dedicated gaming machine, and they can game on it in Windows Bootcamp, so why not, right? And while this works okay sometimes, a lot of times, Windows gaming just doesn't work all that well on a standalone Mac. But what I found is that's not really the case with this 2020 iMac with the 5700 XT GPU. For a machine like this, which in most cases will be gaming as a secondary purpose, I was impressed by how well it performed. And I'm not just talking about playing Rocket League. I loaded up Cars 2, which is a fairly demanding title. And I know version 3 just launched recently, but like I was saying, Cars 2 is a demanding game. And I was able to play it at the max settings at 1440p. I was able to play it at high settings and 4K resolution, and I was impressed. Now, I, I tend to play it in 1440p because when you start like driving through water and you have all those particles splashing up, that's when you can notice the frame rates start to take a dip. But here you can see 1440p, it stays pretty much locked at 60 frames per second. And visually speaking, I'm not running at low settings at all, as you can clearly see in this video. So this could possibly be the last iMac that can run Windows natively. And if you like gaming in Windows to, to wind down, this machine performs admirably. It's one of the reasons you might consider the high-end GPU upgrade. So that was more of a real-world example of why you might consider going and upgrading your iMac from the base model. And that's supported in our Heaven Benchmark, Ultra Settings, 1080p, Tessellation Moderate, 63 frames per second versus 103 on the maxed out iMac. And Geekbench CPU performance, you could see quite a big difference there in multi-core performance as well. So if you're working with applications that use multi-core, those extra four cores are gonna make a difference for sure. So let's run some GPU benchmarks. You can see the base model versus the max model. Metal performance, a, a huge difference there between the 5700 XT and that entry-level GPU. And OpenCL also a big difference between the two. So what that says is that if you're playing games that utilize metal or you're using applications that utilize metal, uh, there's going to be a big difference between that entry-level iMac and the, the high-end iMac with the 5700 XT. And you can clearly see that painted here in our graphics bench metal benchmark. All right, so let's talk about probably what is most important to me. And if you're watching this, likely very important to you as well. Final Cut Pro 10 performance. So Bruce X, nine seconds for the Bruce X benchmark, 10 seconds better than the entry-level iMac. But now I'm gonna run some actual tests with a project that I was working on my 2020 iMac review. And you can see here to transcode 10 of the files from that video, it obviously took less time to transcode on the higher end iMac. It took less time to render. And of course it took less time to export as well. But you'll notice that those times aren't really like super drastic, right? And that's what I noticed all throughout my testing is that yes, the higher end iMac is obviously better, but I think a lot of people will be happy. If you're just doing video editing, you're gonna be happy even with the entry-level iMac uh, with the base model GPU and the six core processor. Now, of course, I had to push it to the extreme and edit some Canon EOS R5 8K RAW footage on the timeline here. And you can see I'm rendering right now and the rendering was obviously faster on that maxed out iMac. If you're working with high-end video like 8K video, you can get it done, especially with the new Final Cut Pro and all the proxy tools built into that. You can get it done on the entry-level iMac, but it's a much better, smoother experience with the high-end GPU. Less stuttering, smoother timeline playback, all that. But like I said, even the entry-level iMac is good for Final Cut Pro 10 performance, but if you want a game, definitely go with the high-end GPU, that 5700 XT. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.